Because of the business that I'm in, my friends ask me all the time if I watch Shark Tank. And really, my job is like Shark Tank. This is what I do all day long, is work with inventors to help them through the process to take their products to market and to grow their businesses at all stages. Now, I have a good understanding of Shark Tank because we've had a few clients, you may recognize some of them, that have been on Shark Tank over the past couple of years. The Squatty Potty was one that was very successful. Another great one was Zip It Bedding and also Fiber Fix. These are all great friends, great clients, and actually got some benefit out of Shark Tank in different ways, each of them. But what I learned through that process is really there's three things that people or companies are looking for when they go on Shark Tank. They're either looking for exposure, for capital, or for expertise or resources. Well, Shark Tank's not the only place to go to achieve those results. If you're looking for exposure, now Shark Tank can be negative, it can be fantastic. But at the end of the day, even if it's great exposure, they may air your spot once or twice, and that's about it. And sometimes the response can be quite negative. If you've seen Shark Tank, you know exactly what I mean. Now you can get controlled exposure in a different way. You can use direct response marketing via direct response TV or infomercials, online marketing, social media, getting onto HSN and other marketing platforms to get that same level or even better of exposure, but do it in a controllable way. And what I mean by that is when you're successful with an infomercial, for example, or online marketing, whatever your approach might be, you can repeat that and you can scale that business. When you're successful in terms of exposure from Shark Tank, you're pretty much done after one or two airings and it's unpredictable. You have no way of controlling when it's going back on the air the next time. Now the second reason that people often go to Shark Tank is for capital. They may just be at the end of their rope, they can't figure out how to grow their business to the next level. Now you're either in one of two situations, either you've got a brand new product and just need capital to get started, or you've got an existing business that is just struggling to grow. In either form, there's ways to get around this capital problem. So if you're just getting started, first of all, Shark Tank's probably not gonna take a look at you. If you watch the show, you'll realize that most of the products that they take on have some success. They may be hitting a wall, but they've got revenue. They're starting to grow, there's potential there. It's not a brand new product. If you have a brand new product, a great way to go is to get a license deal. In the as seen on TV industry, for example, you can make millions just by licensing your product to somebody else. They do all the work, all the investment, and then they pay you a royalty or percentage of sales back. Now, if that's not for you, let's say you've got a business that's in market and you're just hitting that wall and struggling to grow, there are other ways to get capital as well. So sometimes you can get what's called purchase order financing, or you can get media funding. There's ways you can borrow money, so you're not giving away half of your company to Shark Tank or anybody else to be able to grow the business. You can bring in capital. If you can show some revenue, there's a lot of other ways to get it other than giving away a good chunk of your business to the sharks on Shark Tank. Now the last one that people go after on Shark Tank is expertise or resources. And I'll agree, there are some very smart people on Shark Tank. And if you can get on the show and that's what you're going after, it may not be a bad way to go. It's not the only way, however. Now at Harvest Growth, we've launched hundreds of products to market in many different ways. Many on TV, via online marketing or social media, into retail, international, license deals, etc. So there's a lot of different ways to go to market and we've done pretty much all of them. We can help. We can offer that expertise, that level of resources that you would achieve on Shark Tank as well. Connections into HSN, connections into retailers, how to get your product on TV via an infomercial, media buyers, etc. So we have all of these resources because of the launches that we've done. We've done successfully hundreds of launches over the last 10 years in business, and we'd love to help you with yours as well. Now I regularly attend live events across the country looking for inventors and entrepreneurs that I can help through this process. The good news is for you, all you have to do is click on the link and fill out the product evaluation form. And we'll get back to you to let you know exactly how we can help you get better exposure, more capital, and more expertise or resources for your business, just like the sharks from Shark Tank. We'll help you get to the next level. And all you have to do is fill out the product evaluation form and send it into our office. So click on the link on this page and fill it out and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.